Hi guys, it's Graham from Mogul Adventures and today we're going to talk about our new 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery complements of energy. Full disclosure, I've got two of these for the rebuild of our uh, 4x4 Sprinter and in later programs I'll show you how we, are, how we will install them. But first off, let's see what's in the box. So, usual thing, it's a very heavy box by the way, uh, 61 pounds when it arrived. So, we use the scissors to get rid of these nylon thingies going on here. And I will need a small knife blade to cut the plastic, uh, sellotape. Now, small blade, don't go too deep because you don't want to you know what's underneath to damage it all. So, there we go. Okay, so within the top half, there is a uh, cover. Um, cover, cover going on there. So lifting it out, it again, Paul Terry um, coming it in. Book, uh, instruction manual, some stickers for the van, and a warranty card, and a contact, support, support contact details for the various support units around the world so uk us australia canada uh, japan etc so helpful so we'll come back to this book as well because there's some really important information we need to uh just be aware of we also have our short bolts for connecting the battery cables and the longer ones should be in the backs there is also to terminal covers now that's really helpful because where i'm intending to store the battery i'm going to need these so to see them in there that's good that's good news so that's helpful polystyrene cup cup on the top here and what have we got here so it's covered in sheet of plastic as you can see there are two big handles here plastic handles on ropes i'm assuming that's connected to the battery and i'm going to try and pull this out 61 pounds <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is check it to make sure there are no breaks uh, or damages or fractures in the casing of this battery because that would not be a good thing. Um, yeah, looking good. First thing I do is check the handles. Again, quite robust handles. Um, a knotted rope, robust, uh, strong fixing to the batteries. Again, I think if you hit them with a hammer or whatever, they, they wouldn't survive. But Certainly, I would not be unhappy to try and carry these batteries into the van in this style. So that's good. Battery terminals on the top, a positive and a negative. They are M8 bolts, they, which is a 15 millimeter spanner. And within the instruction manuals is a range for torquing those nuts down when you attach your battery cables. Um, they are both in newton meters and in inch pounds. Uh, I would go for the lower end of the range rather than the top end just to nip up those cables and see where we go from that point. I'm going to check the voltage again. I'm going to use my multimeter. Uh, it's going to be set to, well, it is set to 20 volts on the DC scale. And I'm just looking at it now and it's telling me that I have 13.07 uh, volts in it. So this is definitely charged, probably about 50%, 30 to 50%. And it is probably in um, shelf mode which is what you'd normally expect batteries to be shipped into you don't have to do anything to take it out of shelf shelf mode other than attach a charge source to it some of the energy batteries there are uh, switches that you have to press to to reactivate the battery this one you don't it's straightforward put it on charge what first one amp goes in and it will go uh, it'll go active that's great and when you take the charge off 25 hours later, it will go to shelf life. So nice self administrating function. Within the battery is a uh, Bluetooth module. And on the top of the battery here, we can see the QRF code to download from the App Store or Google Play to get the Bluetooth app on your phone to allow you to do real time monitoring of the state of the battery and the charge of the battery. The battery itself uh, has a set of dimensions, I think, 
uh, both uh, it, on the box, it's in Imperial, but they're also in metric somewhere. Uh, and I'll write it down beneath you, but it's basically 20 inches, 20.6 inches wide, long. Uh, it is 8.6 inches wide and 9.4 inches tall. And I will put the millimeters below so that we know what size it is for the Europeans. It weighs a whopping 61 pounds. And again, I should put in the kilogram value underneath. Other functions within this battery. So you have your Bluetooth module. You also have a um, battery management system, which is protecting each of the cells to make sure they do not over voltage or over current or under voltage or under current in their, in their use. And so it's protecting all of those cells so they operate in a healthy manner. And there is a second element to this, which has the auto balancing function, which is making sure that the load uh, is taken equally across all of the cells and the charging is also applied equally across those cells too. You can parallel this battery. You can add more than one battery together. And in fact, I'm going to add two for my build, which will give me 400 amp hours. But you can only connect these batteries in parallel. And Renji recommend the maximum you can connect is eight batteries, which would give you a whopping 1600 amp hour battery bank. You cannot um, attach them in series to make a 24 volt uh, battery bank. And Renji are very clear about that. So you'll have to, if you want to go down that road, you have to use another battery. The battery has on its casing has some warnings and cautions. So basically do not um, do not puncture it, do not drop it, do not set it on fire, do not throw it in water. And there are some warning signs on the front here which says read the manual. Don't set fire to it, keep it in normal temperature, operating temperature, uh, don't splash it with water and wear goggles when operating it together. And particularly when you're trying to connect batteries here and uh, battery cables to this, uh, sometimes the load can jump on that cable and so wear goggles so you don't get um, spark or uh, sparks into your eyes. So safety at all times. Do not wear chains around your neck or around your wrists or wet metal watches or anything when you're operating this area because you do not want to short out those two terminals because that will be a very bad day nor should you drop your spanner across it or your ruler or anything else metal keep them well away from this point uh, quite often i would use the battery caps to keep it safe or to cover it in in um, tape when you want to Okay, so looking at nice shiny battery, there are some warnings and instructions on the side here. Uh, I have my glasses on because I can't read uh, particularly well. So fire hazard, don't uh, make sure your, and um, please make sure your charger for the lithium ion Fosway is compatible before use. Uh, do not dissemble, crush, or incinerate this battery. Uh, do not, now, uh, it also says you can't connect these batteries in a series and I'll come to that as well. So we have this 200 amp hour battery. It's good for 2000 cycles, which means that you can charge it and discharge it 200, 2000 times. So, and you're, that, that can probably take several, it will take several years to do in just normal use. So that's great. 200 hours, 200 amp hours, it's normal voltage is 12.8 volts, which gives it 1560 watts of energy, usable energy. It can discharge to 200 amps per hour. So this whole battery can pour itself out in an hour and it can charge uh, at 100 amps an hour. So it will take two hours to recharge it. So it's a beast. Now there are in the instructions, there is also some uh, information around the size of cable that you would attach to these terminals. They are the uh, four slash zero AWG America size 107 millimeters squared which is 230 amps maximum current that's from the American regs the uh, American code the European code the UK code and the train codes are a little bit more generous so you could probably use a smaller wire or uh, a bigger wire and have more batteries attached to it so there we go I will be installing this in the next couple of weeks into the van. I'm going to install two of these along with the other energy products I have. And um, 
I'll make a short video of how to do that. So thank you for watching. I hope this hasn't been too uh, dry for you. And um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.